Hey guys, so we just finished the and, and uh, there's a there's a card game. Yeah, this is and this a, is good for the whole family. So it's not just uh, couples. You can get to know that that brother that you have an awkward relationship with. Andrew, oh boy, <laughs> are you gonna take it home and play with your family? Oh, I wasn't talking about my family. He should. When do you feel closest to me? Oh, that's sweet. Um. I think <laughs> when you get me to actually sleep in bed with you. And this morning I woke up and <laughs> turned and saw you next to me and the fact that I wasn't freaking out that there was another person in bed with me was... Yeah. Because my weird sleep thing is weird. We know that it's weird. Yeah. And letting you in and putting that aside, something that I'm very serious about, which is not sleeping in the same bed as somebody, I think is when I feel closest to you. And also just like, when we're just hanging around the apartment and we don't filter a single thing that we say. No, especially with the sleep stuff, like we've talked about this extensively because weird. we have similar trauma that we dealt with ex like completely, completely opposite. So I cannot deal with being alone, especially when I'm asleep. And like, you're the exact opposite, where when you're asleep, you can't, it's like the thought of being near someone that repulses you almost. So I, I think def the closest I feel towards you is when I can see you like m moving away from that and acknowledging like when I deeply need you to like be in the same bed as me, mm -hmm. because whether I'm in pain or if, not even like if something's wrong, if it's just like we're tired, like whatever. Um, that's something that I feel incredibly close to you because, like, like when we first met, like you would I couldn't even, be touched. You couldn't even. I couldn't, couldn't be we touched. couldn't even hug. I know. And I realized that. <laughs> and you still, <laughs> you still do the like put sheets between us thing, well, which is really yeah. courteous and it's adorable. Because I know, like, I cuddle in my sleep because I am so <laughs> desperately alone. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, is it my turn? No, I think it's my turn. Is it your turn? Okay. Ooh. Who has more power in the relationship? <laughs> Answer carefully. Okay. Um, I think that you have more power in our relationship. Shocking. I think definitely, because I don't think you realize how deeply I need you in my life, mm -hmm. and I don't think that I don't think you need me as much as I need you. You're so wrong. You know, I think I know that you think that you need me more than I need you, and I think that's just because I don't show it as often, which is something our friends have picked up on too. It comes Recently, across. it's been really odd that the way that our friends have commented on us has really been affecting yeah, me. Yeah, just like, Kate's gonna die without you, and I'm like, I'm gonna die without her. I She's know, like, we're but we're both gonna die without her. It makes me without each other. Without each other. <laughs> it makes me curious as to what it is, the way that I act towards you, or like the way that we act towards each other when we're around our friends. Because we do act differently around each other when there, there's no one there. But yeah. um, that makes them think that I'm more. It's like oh, I'm more in it with you than you're with me, and it's That's starting to get to me. Well, it shouldn't. Well, it shouldn't okay. get to you though, because you know that it. Our whole relationship can be defined in our sleep thing. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I've run away from affection and physical contact, and you run towards it. And because in person, that's probably what comes across to our friends. They probably see that, and then think that there's something more. But I mean, I think. I think that I show my affection, and I guess subtle ways and that's what yeah. it is i think i like the more i think about this now um obviously like we get jokes constantly about us being a couple about us being lesbians like all that stuff like oh like they're secretly dating for like the past two years I don't understand which isn't that. true obviously yeah. but there is an element to the fact that i am bisexual yeah and you are straight um and the way our friends comment on like, even if it's a joke, like, obviously there's no malice yeah. in that, and I know that, but it's little things like, oh, Kate's so in love with Nadine, like, oh, of course Nadine can do that because Kate's in love with her. It's, 
it's it like cheapens this relationship to this whole I'm this bi girl that's just like waiting her time until her best friend like realizes that she likes girls, which is so insulting to how I actually I feel get towards that. you. I get that. I think that also plays into like the power dynamic thing that we talked about. Yeah, because if people perceive you to be yeah. in love with <laughs> I know. We're both in love with each other. I yeah. Know, but it's just yeah. Yeah. That it's is just something that I pick up on. The image. I guess. Yeah. Well, screw them. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, is it my turn too? Yeah. Okay. How do our different upbringings affect our relationship? <laughs> I think our upbringings are different because I come from a traditional Muslim family. They're very strict. And I don't know, I think that my traditional upbringing doesn't actually affect our relationship as much as one would think that it would. Because mm -hmm. you understand. You understand when I need to bring a change of clothes and when I'm not allowed to wear a tank top. And when we were friends for a year when I still had to go home at like 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. and you would buy my cabs for me. And so there was never a time that it came between us and there was never a time that I think that it made us different. I think the most important part was my traditional upbringing caused me so much pain and then you've seen so much pain too and so that's why it kind of throws away the whole traditional thing. Which that also brings sense. me to the fact that you let me live in your home without paying rent. Do you know how wild <laughs> that is in New York City to just put my you I put my clothes in your closet, My I have a drawer You've given me a drawer, and to have all of that space in your room. I don't think I thank you enough for the fact that I am living in your home without paying rent. Do you realize that? Yeah, but it's not even, it's silly that you even say that because it's not even a question. It's still a it's, big deal. It's, it's, it's still, it's, it, uh, it's a in huge In my world, deal. there was no question. I thank you for being appreciative, but it's silly but for you to even. But you've given me the home that my parents never gave me. Do you realize that? Oh, jeez. Because <laughs> you have, and that's... At home, I can't be myself. I can't say what I think, otherwise I'll get berated and my opinion doesn't matter. I can't wear the pajamas I want to wear, which is still crazy. And I know that it seems like really little things. Me getting out of the house was really little. It was very small things that I wanted to be able to do with freedom that I wasn't able to. And then you gave it to me, you know? And we never, we never actually yeah. talk about this. Yeah. But I am so thankful. So I just want you to know that. That's, I love you. I love you too. Oh, we looked at this. Oh, girl, what is the pain in me you would like to heal? <sighs> Maybe cry. Um, I want, to, I would want to remove all the pain that your family has inflicted on you throughout your entire life. I think that, um, yeah, currently, if your family wasn't an element in the way it is right now, and the pain that that does cause you, it would, it would help you immensely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't you almost think that that's the best part about me? We mean the best part about you. Okay, think of me without my family. I'd just be me. I there would I'd just be Nadine. Little yeah. Little Nadine. Just, just Nadine. What is that supposed to mean? Come on. Part of my charm is all of that shit. Don't you think? No, no, no. That's so? what makes me the most sad. Really? Yeah. That's in terms of not even just like our relationship, just like being friends with you and seeing you, like the pain that you go through with your family is by far, like... This no. goes back to you having to remind me that my pain's not normal. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. oh, that's, that's fine, right? It's and not fine. It's not. It's really not okay. Yeah. It's deeply not okay. Um, what, what pain would you take away in me? <laughs> I really can't watch people take from you without giving you anything in return. 
And so I watch you just love and love. And I think that, I was saying this the other day, that you just need somebody that will love you. And you're just exhausting yourself, really. And I just, I don't think that you're told enough how beautiful you are, which is not even the first thing about you. That's just all I can say, because you're right in front of me. Aww. And how smart you are. You are incredibly talented. And that's something that I think I want to see you focus more on yourself because you're giving to people that aren't loving you back the way that you should be. And I'm going to stand by you and tell you to keep giving just because I'm an enabler and we make poor decisions. And I think that it's time that you love yourself, which is now going to be the advice that I give you because if there is the pain that I could heal in you, it's that. Why do you love me? Kate, I know you didn't write the question, but... <laughs> I love you because you are so strong. You are so phenomenally strong. And watching you go through what you've been through, especially this past year, and you think that you go through it because of having me by your side, but it really is all you. And yeah, you're just, you hit all of the check marks. You're smart and you're funny and you're caring and you're beautiful and you're selfless and there's just not a bad thing that I can say about you, really. The words, like words escape me when I try to yeah. figure out like, yes, you're beautiful. You're literally well, the I most- Well, I wrote a poem about you, so I'll show, I'll show you that. Okay. I keep telling you about the You keep on referencing it this It literally poem. starts with the girl with the emerald eyes and this will make no sense. People are going to think that we're fucking Kate. We're, we're, we're not know, selling ourselves we're the not, way that we should be. We shouldn't be. Um, I don't even know what to say. I love you so deeply that I can't even... I, I, it's not... It's not a checklist. It's so not, what I just said was very superficial, but and I'm <laughs> telling you, there is this weird, invisible electromagnetic wave that just has us connected. Like in Donnie Darko? That, yeah. That thing mm -hmm. that, that ruins that his thing. life? Um, <laughs> aside from aside that. Aside from that. Um, yeah, I, it's obviously I can tell you the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in that you're easily the most intelligent person I've met. You know, I can list off your GPA, all the honor societies you're in. The fact that as a hobby, you're getting your master's in computer science. <laughs> like, without doing anything, you just took your mock trial team to nationals. <laughs> like, you do these things as if it's just like this casual thing. Oh, I'm going to go to law school. Yeah, you're going to go to law school. Oh, I'm just going to get my master's. Like, like, you are the most phenomenal person I have ever met. And the Thanks. fact that I get to share my life with you is a blessing. And I just... I'm still confused as to how <laughs> like, this even happened, I, I guess. Know. I still don't have the answer to that. Yeah. I guess we're just lucky. We're extremely lucky. I am the luckiest girl in the world to have you in my life. I guess we're just best friends. That's why I love you. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help us make more by supporting us on Patreon, theskindeep.com slash Patreon. The link is also in the description. Thank you very much.